guys, welcome back to the FE exam review series where I cover the most common FE problems that you need to know to pass your FE exam. In today's video, we'll be covering a material section problem, specifically under part C, physical and mechanical properties of the metal. Now, before we get started, if you are currently studying for your FE exam, go ahead and let us know in the comments below which FE you're preparing for. Oh yeah, everybody now. Now I have a quick announcement for those of you guys who are taking FE Mechanical. So we are about to launch part of the Mechanical Afternoon course. So if you are interested, go ahead and let us know in the comments below or you can sign up here and we'll send you an email once we launch it. Now let's take a look at the problem. So a cylindrical steel specimen with a uniform diameter is subjected to a tensile load. The original length of the specimen was 250 millimeters and it elongated to 300 millimeters just before failure. And we want to determine the ductility of a material. So something guys to remember, and this is very important, is that when we're trying to determine the ductility of a material, we can do that in two ways. We can either determine the percent elongation or the percent reduction in area, okay? Now, given the problem and what we have, we can actually only use one of those equations. So I'm gonna let you guys think about that for a little bit. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video Try to attempt this problem. So again, make sure that you guys solve these problems on your own by yourself without looking at the solution. It's going to help you to understand the concepts better and also it's going to help you remember your mistakes for the FE exam. Okay, so why don't you guys pause it and I will see you in a little bit. Now, if you guys find this problem helpful or you like our content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. And also, if you haven't downloaded our cheat sheet yet, make sure that you guys do that here. It has very important equations and concepts that you need to know for your FE exam. Now, as I mentioned before, to find the ductility of a material, we can either calculate the percent elongation or the percent reduction in area. Now, if we go to the reference manual here, we are giving those equations. Now, keep in mind, guys, these equations are under mechanics of materials, okay? Although this question is a materials question, okay? So remember they're here. Now, when we look at both of these equations, note, guys, that we can't really use the percent reduction in area, right? Because, well, we weren't giving the initial or the final area. We also don't have the diameter, so we can't really calculate for the area, which means we're going to have to use this equation here, okay? Because we were giving the initial length, we were also giving the final length just before rupture, so we can easily use this equation to determine the ductility. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we have delta L, which is the change in length. So we're going to do the final length minus the initial length, and we're going to divide it by the initial length, and then we're going to multiply it by 100 so that we can get percentage. So the final length or the length right before rupture is 300 millimeters. And then we're going to do minus 250 millimeters. So that's the original length. We're going to divide it by 250 millimeters. And then we're going to multiply the whole thing by 100. Okay. Notes guys here, the millimeters cancel, which is good. And now if you guys plug in these numbers in your calculator, you're going to get about 20%. So now if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be B. Now, the next FE problem that we're going to post is going to be on thermodynamics. So if you're excited about that, go ahead and comment below thermodynamics. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now, if you guys like this problem and you like my teaching style and you really want to pass your FE exam faster, then make sure to check out our courses at jennyprep.com where I cover everything that you need to pass your FE exam. And before you go, make sure to check out this playlist here that has over 100 FE problems that's going to help you with your FE preparation. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you guys on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.